This is my lunch hour. The other night I attended an event with my husband and there was this girl there that I haven't seen in a really long time. And if I'm being honest, I didn't originally want to go to this event. We can get so caught up in our everyday schedule when it comes to getting out in real life and socializing with people. After we have spent lots of time on social media, we can become distracted and not want to actually get out and socialize. Let me just say, after having this hour-long conversation with this girl that I have not seen in a really, really long time at this event, I was so glad that I got out. The first thing she tells me is that she's recently read my book and that she really enjoyed it. I was grateful to hear that, but I also was grateful for the time that her and I were able to see it. Her tell me about the book that she wants to write. She told me about how she has the beginning of a book written and she has had it written for a while but she never exactly knew the ending of it until recently she took new position at her job which required her to change locations and she was a little hesitant about taking this job because it would require her to have her office location be in a part of town that is not necessarily what we consider in the area that we live in safe. She told me that she has been working there for about six months now and it's actually the best thing that ever happened to her. She was so thankful that she had listened to God's calling for her life to be placed in this office but what was more exciting than anything is what she told me that she does on her lunch hour it got me to thinking about what you do on your lunch hour what exactly do you do in your lunch hour let me tell you about this girl's story about the magnificent thing that God is doing in her life and how she spends her time on her lunch hour I was completely blown away from this hour-long conversation I had with her about her lunch hour. It was almost one of those times that you wish that you had the camera rolling and that you would have had it all filmed and you could see it one-on-one. -on -one. But as uh, I closed out the weekend, I thought that I would just share my version of it since there was no camera involved. She told me about how she goes on her lunch hour and serves at the local community for the homeless. Okay, so here's the thing. So she goes on to tell me this story about what she does on her lunch hour, and I was quite mesmerized by exactly what she shared with me because I told her, I confessed to her. I told her, I said, you know, I'm really inspired by your story because here's the thing. I see the pictures that you're putting on your social media accounts and they're just little squares. I told her, I said, just little squares. It's just little, just that one little still moment of letting me know what you've been up to. So I knew that she had been doing this serving at a community for the homeless because she would tell little stories about these people, but I didn't quite know the magnitude of it. I wasn't sure um, just exactly how this went down for her. So this is what she told me. Well, first of all, I asked her, I said, so when are you doing this during the day? I mean, are you like going on your lunch hour? And she said, yeah. She said, I'm able to be able to create like my own schedule while I'm at work. So, you know, she knows her flexibility in her job and when she can go on her lunch hour and how long that can be. She goes on to tell me, you know, I'll be on a business meeting, conference call, and as we're discussing, you know, the things with her job and blah, 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 she said, I'll be like taking my, cause she dresses for her work. She dresses like a businesswoman. Dress shoes, dress pants, dress shirt, you know, nice earrings, lipstick, makeup, hair fix, all the whole nine yards. Okay, so while she's on a conference call for a business meeting, she'll be changing. She'll be changing her clothes from, you know, taking her dress shoes off to putting her tennis shoes on. And so she's like, you know, demonstrating to me that she takes her shoes off and she's, she's putting these tennis shoes on and throwing, throwing the dress shoes back behind. And so then she'd tell me, you know, she'd wipe her lipstick off and, and she would take her nice earrings off. And then she has this hoodie. So she takes this hoodie and she puts this hoodie on over her dress shirt. And so like, you know, her, her dress pants are, you know, like black. And so then she, um, on her lunch hour, she drives to this, these local shelves and, you know, ministers and helps with these people. On her lunch hour now, on her lunch hour. I was so just inspired by her story like I said I told her uh, about me seeing them on her social media account and you know it, it all goes back to me mentioning earlier about how I really didn't even want to you know attend this event that I went to just that's just me being raunchy you know it's back to the school I was tired after a long week of getting the kid back in school and what have you and you know you just get settled in your ways and you just don't want to be around people and you can get trapped and lost in the social media world and that's just your communication this day and time and so whenever it comes down to getting out there around regular people at an event we lose our social skills <laughs> and so it is easier for us to want to stay at home so anyway I told her I just I kept telling her I was like you know I saw these pictures 
but you sitting here, like you sitting here, I mean like literally me and her were sitting this close together. You sitting here and telling me this story and telling me exactly what you've been doing. I mean, I'm just blown away. I mean like there, God's all up in that. I mean, he is using her to minister and witness to those people just by being there. Like, she has helped encourage them to go to college and um, finish getting a degree. One just got a home, you know, after being homeless for so long. And, you know, just different things. She was like, now, I do know my boundaries. You have to have boundaries. Like, they know that they do not come up behind me from behind, you know, and like spook her and what have you. And I asked her, I said, well, now, how does your husband feel about this? And so she told me, she said, well, he, he knows and he worries for my safety, but he also knows that when I'm on my knees, literally praying for direction in my life, he knows that this is where I'm being called. And guys, I mean, I, I'm just here to tell you, I don't know where you are in your life and I don't know what you're doing on your lunch hour, but I, I was really inspired by her story. And I wish that you could have been sitting there with me. I mean, there were like other people sitting at the table around us. My husband had gotten up, he had walked off. I told him, I said, you know, you go mingle, you go do your thing. I'm gonna sit here in this chair. And in a minute, I'm, I may get up and walk around. I mean, there was lots of people there that I knew. And I had seen this girl and her husband come in and, I, and then I kind of got distracted by something else and I really didn't think about her anymore. And then she, you know, ultimately came over and we sat and talked. She sat in the chair right next to me. It was just like her and I were the only ones in the room and we were talking about this. I mean, it was like, I believe the Lord had a word for me through her and, and, and he had a word for her through me. It's just times like that that you have to remember you have to remember not only what you're doing on your lunch hour, but you also have to think about getting out and being social in the real world. Not just being social on social media, guys. Man, it's not cutting it. It's not cutting it in those little bitty old squares. I'm just telling you, it's not. So here's the I thing. can't remember if I hit record. Yeah, I did. You know, I got to thinking about it later over the uh, rest of that weekend about mine and her conversation. The more I thought about, you know, what are people doing on their lunch hour? What are people doing that they're shining their light out into the world because their influence matters? What are they doing on their lunch hour that's creating an impact on the world? I got to thinking about what I didn't share with her. But before I tell you what I didn't share with her, let me tell you how her and Iris conversation ended in when we departed. I encouraged her to finish writing that book because here's the thing when she first came to me and told me that she had read her book read my book and that she was she would love to write a book and that she knows that she's written the beginning of it and you know we went through the course of it and I gave her some tips and I, I encouraged her in some ways that she needed to do it even if she doesn't feel like she's ready to complete it and get it put in print but she needs to put these words down before she forgets them I lost my train of thought okay so she she went on in to tell me by the time this is when we were departing this is this is what she told me she said you know through my working down there in these six to eight months that I've been down there and, the, and the, the time that I've been going to this community center to be able to um, be there for these homeless people, she was getting closure, closure to what she thinks the end of her story, the story that would fit within this book. And it made me think about how, and, and she even said, it. She, you know, she went like this. She's like, you know, everybody in this room has got a story. Everybody in this room has got a story and everybody has got a hurt and everybody has got a past and everybody's got connecting points. And so, so my point with that is, yes, everybody does. And everybody, everybody wants to write a book. Everybody has a book in them, I'm telling you. If you haven't thought it, you're gonna think it one day about that you wanna write a book. And I'm not denying you writing a book. I mean, I think everybody, if you if you feel that calling on your life and you think that's what you're supposed to be doing, I mean, like, take action, do it. But then there's those others of you. You haven't thought about a book, but you know that there's something else inside of you. You know that there's something else inside of you that you wanna be doing on a daily basis to be making an impact in others' lives. I encourage you. I encourage you to step out of the box. Step out of the box that it is around you. And that little bitty nudge of something that is within inside you. I'm telling you, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You've had these thoughts since you were a little bitty child. And you know, you know deep down inside how you're wired and you know what you think about things. But through the years and the older that we get, we get worried that people are gonna make fun of us and we don't take action on what the world needs from us. I encourage you to step out of the box and go towards it. You might not know the answers. You might not even know exactly what direction you're going. Just go. So she told me that she knows the ending of her story and, and that's wonderful. That's great. I'm so excited for her and I'm excited for the journey that the Lord has her on. So we departed that night. And like I said, I got to thinking about over the weekend, but there wasn't that one thing that I didn't tell her about. And what that thing is, is about me and you. What I've got going on here on my channel. This channel is my time and my space, me using my voice of influence for the world, for people like you. For people like you who come and sit and listen to the words that the, that the Lord washes over me and I flush them out to you as a life-giving message. 
or wherever you are on your journey. But that's what I wanted to share with her. I mean, but I didn't think about it in that moment. Just like her going on her lunch hour and serving the community like that, this is my lunch hour. You are my lunch hour. I'm spending my time on my lunch hour with you. And so I appreciate you being here. You know, it says a lot about you. It says a lot about where you are on your walk and where, the direction that you're going. And so I hope that you will continue to keep showing up. I'm going to keep showing up for you, and I hope you keep showing up for me.